my name is Michael Rhodes. Um, I live here in Portland. I, I'm sure that some people recognize me as an organizer and coordinator for Don't Shoot Portland. Um, but I've also been separately um, helping organize these last couple days of protests uh, since the election of Donald Trump. Um, last night there were some instances of violence. Um, during the marches that we were leading, we had, like uh, Charlie said earlier, we had a good 4,000 people out there. We met up with several different uh, organizations and protests that were going on around the city. Uh, when we met up with the third group, um, it turned out to be um, with the Black Cross Anarchists, and so they started marching with us. As we started making our way away from Lloyd Center and we were coming across um, the Broadway Bridge, there was some broken windows at a car dealership, um, and then we entered the Pearl and some businesses were damaged, as well as some other vehicles and other personal property. Um, we instructed, for the most part, we instructed our, our protesters to the best of our abilities to not engage anybody who was doing vandalism or um, any sort of actions that they didn't agree with that they step away rather than engage them it was a safety issue um, when people engage with people who are violent they can sometimes turn violent towards you even if you guys are on the same side so we instructed our people not to engage we did have people that were threatening each other and we didn't want that to escalate um, the damages were substantial to many different properties um, the Portland's resistance has already raised $25,000 to repair um, the damages that were done last night and are continuing to raise money. We have had crews out there um, today trying to help clean up and uh, trying to help the community come together and be strong together. Mike, if, if people want to, wait, wait, wait just a second, but if people, if people want to contribute to that fund, how do they do it? So um, on the Portland Resistance page, there's a GoFundMe account where the money is going into and we're using that to repair windows and property. Um, also to clean off graffiti, because there was um, some amount of graffiti along the way too. Yeah. What about that question, you, a lot of viewers are saying, hey, what about the organizers? They should be held responsible. You don't have to answer the question. Well, I, can, I can answer this. Yeah, um, so, as an organizer of uh, freedom of speech and, and when it comes to protests, people come together for different reasons. Um, a lot of people come together and can find common um, situations that they're in or things that they're mad about, but when it comes down to how people express themselves, that is up to their own accord. There's, I am not a police officer, I'm not in any position of power to be able to tell a hum, another human being what to do or what not to do. It is everybody's choice to do whatever they must. However, um, we didn't condone those actions. We tried to stay away from them. We tried to keep the people who were peaceful away from them, um, and that's all we could have done. What are your plans tonight? Are you asking people to go out again? So tonight we are not having a march as far as I'm concerned. We are going to have a rally here at 5 o'clock just to sort of talk to people, um, maybe discuss some things that happened last night and where we're going to go from here. Um, I think that my message to other organizers, if you are out there planning a protest for tonight or a march, uh, just try and keep people safe. It's, safety is the biggest concern that I have. Last night we had a man run over by a car. So like my job as a coordinator of these marches, I run around and make sure that we try and stop traffic and make sure cars aren't coming through. We try not to engage with um, people who are on the streets because other people with differing opinions sometimes can get aggressive too. Um, it's just all about safety. So if those organizers can come up with a sort of plan and have people sort of as security and people that can help out with keeping people safe, that would be the best option. I want to talk to the mayor and police chief. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for Thanks. Thanks.